Okay, the push jerk, or as we refer to it in the weightlifting world, the power jerk. They're both the same movement. In CrossFit, they call it the push jerk. In the weightlifting world, they call it the power jerk, but it's the same exact thing. Um, we're gonna show you what, what we think are some of the most common mistakes as it relates to the receiving position of the jerk specifically. So we're gonna keep it to that. How do you catch a push jerk, or how do you catch a power jerk, or receive a push jerk or a power jerk, depending on the terminology that you're used to, okay? so. <clears throat> Just so that we're all on the same page here, we're gonna show you what we want it to look like. Okay? So that's what we want it to look like. And the most common mistake that we see as it relates to receiving a power jerk or a push jerk overhead um, is when people uh, keep their hips underneath them or try to keep their hips underneath them in this, in this fashion as opposed to thinking in terms of when you catch the barbell or when you receive the barbell on a power jerk, it really should be at the start of your squat. So this is where we want you to catch. And in, on the elite end of the spectrum, this should be able to be ridden all the way down into a squat jerk, if that makes sense, okay? So again, the biggest mistake that we see people make is the hips stay under them and it pins them here. They cannot get down uh, any deeper. And so we see a lot of uh, push jerks or power jerks caught on a bent elbow and then the press out happens afterwards. Gets you through like a CrossFit competition, but that's not gonna work in a weightlifting competition. Jerks should be pet caught on a locked out elbow all of the time, okay? So to work on this movement pattern, what you're gonna do is front rack your barbell just like this, and then we just want you to initiate a squat, okay? Just a little bit. And then from here, press the bar overhead. So basically this is what's called a soft press, but we're not in the bottom of a squat yet. If you can do it from here, then what we want you to do is we want you to try to push that depth a little bit and see if you can soft press from here. Okay, and if that's good, then take it all the way down and then press again. Go ahead and relax T. What this is going to do is it's going to help you develop both the pressing strength and also the movement pattern as it relates to the best way to catch your jerks, okay? And the easiest cue to remember this as you're going to practice is we want butt back and bar back. Butt back, bar back when you catch power jerks. Butt back, bar back, as opposed to butt, uh, hips forward and bar forward, okay? Have fun.